Well, hello there. I'm the Ranger, and today we're going to talk about the bug out bike systems. We have two we got a 10 speed and a cruiser. And we are here at Caution Carter, Mississippi. And the uh, bike trace is around the corner. We just take this little trail over here to take the bike trace. And I have a guest. His name is Mr. Full Auto AK-47 and Bear. Say it again, sir. Mr. Full Auto AK-47 and Bear. Rambo Coffee Skivers the third. We are at Jeff Davis Lake, Prentice, Mississippi. That's where we're at. We got a connector to the bike trail. We're at about mile 40, and there's 49 of you. We got some miles to do. This. Yeah. So I have a choice to put my hammock tent there or over here. I find it over here be a little bit more pleasant. I have to back up my truck so we have to unload gear and move it 50 feet. So. I'm placing my hammock tent right there. This is part of the gear of the bug out bike system. All right, see you in a few minutes. Show you updates. Well, I'm the Ranger, and today I want to show you what I've been doing. I got a bear out here, and this is his right here. And I got two flags. Look at that. Now, I had these made, and it's falling apart on me. Look at that. I wonder if I can glue that on there. But it's the the paint coming off the material. So I don't know what. But that's the Ranger Kooky flag. Oh no, I'm missing his eye. I got a blind wolf. Oh poor wolf. Is that his eye? Oh there he is. There's his eye. Oh, look his eyeball. I have to put his eye back. Go back. <laughs> Poor fox. Woof. Woof. All right, I'm going to show you camp real quick. Um, it came out here to Mississippi on the Longleaf Trail, and we were supposed to get a permit to camp, uh, park the car. And we take the bikes out, but they were closed the time we got there. I thought a thousand times that the um, they would be open at four o'clock, but there wasn't open. It was closed at three thirty. But uh, but we did a little bike ride. We there's the uh, Longleaf Trace around the corner. We take it. We went all the way to town with our bug out bikes. No dog. No. So I did my test with my cruiser. I do need a 10 speed for this type of environment. Now Louisiana's all flat, but here they had inclines of hell. And and oh man, we had fun going downhill. This is my setup for the bug out bike. I created a little porch for myself so I have some type of protection and protect my gear underneath the tarp because that wasn't enough protection for gear underneath and that's it this is the hammock tent system the water beads and look there's a bear we, the, if the bear f shits in the woods and it gets on his fur, does he wipe it with the rabbit? I don't know, it was yellow. <laughs> oh, God. Well, there you go. We at uh, Mississippi. What was the name of this place? I forgot. Jeff Davis Lake. Yeah. Davis, Mississippi. And this place kind of like no signs where everything is. So there you go. And there's a door. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. We're ready to go down this hill. And it's going to be a hill. So come along with me. Show you. Well, notice the big difference in 10 speed and the cruiser for this type of environment. Well, I thought the environment I would be on, it would be all flat, but it's heaven. So I got up and down hills. So I got this 10 speed. So I'm going up this hill pretty good. All right, I have to get off the bike to walk the rest. I can't do it. <laughs> the weight, the minimum on this bike. See, this is Mississippi. Mississippi has hills, humps, and bumps. Ooh, I'm wore out. Yes, my plans has changed from the uh, original plan I was going to do. I was going to park at the one of the trailheads, get a tag for our truck, our vehicle, and go up the road and camp in the woods in Mississippi. This is Bear, Mr. Full All AK-47's bike. And uh, there's a big difference. The 10 speed helps you going up and down these cliffs where a cruiser can't. He has a nice rig up. And he has two fanny packs or Alice packs on the back of his bike which is not bad at all for his loose setup and uh, basket system all right I'm the Ranger don't forget to like share and comment they do help see you next video oh, I'm a Ranger Kiki and look at mr. bears bike here uh, Bear has all kinds of knickknacks. He, he's doing minimum of gear, but uh, 
you need a bike like this for this location. We in Mississippi, and we got ups and downs and hills. And I'm gonna show you a hill that you might want to get. You don't want to get a 10 speed for this type of, uh, uh, of location. I believe is a location, location, location. Louisiana is all flatland, and here we got nothing but hills in Mississippi. So if you're doing a bug out system, make sure you get the bike for their environment. Oh, I'm ready to take you for a ride down this hill. We're gonna go. We're gonna be clocking about 300 miles an hour. Oh, mama, love me. Okay, you ready? Sorry for the steady and shaking of the bike, but oh well. Here we go. Tick, 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 tick. Like a roller coaster, oh gee! Oh, mama, love me! 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 Oh, pot! Crap! Yeah! everywhere <sighs> okay time to walk I am burnt out me and bear took a ride yesterday I mean last night and uh yeah it's, I'm burnt out. Mm. Well, I know one thing. Practice, practice, practice every day for any situation. Because you never know when you're going to use your your equipment in a real bug out situation so practice every day hey i'm ready kicky i see you in the far side <laughs> Listen to him crying. I'm leaving. Bye. Bye, Jerry. Bye. I'm leaving. Bye. Come on. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Bye. Bye, Jerry. I'm leaving. Bye. Bye, Jerry. Oh, Jerry. Oh, do you miss me already, Dirk? Oh, poor Dirk. <laughs> You're a big whining baby. 
You wouldn't know what to do if I got the corona. Oh, poor girl. You're just whimpering. All right, well. i Ranger Kiki. See y'all next time. Hello there, I'm the Ranger, and today I want to talk about the camping system I use for my bug out bike. This worked, but I wish this tarp was a little bigger. I wanted a small porch, a bigger tarp. This will work perfect if I had a bigger tarp. I just had the normal standard sleeping system. It worked fine. Then I had this out like so. I just wanted a small porch, so and it did rain really hard, and I had a, a little bigger area of protection of my other gear that's underneath my tent. It's been moved over here. Uh, things had changed. The plans. The first plans was to park one spot and move into another spot. with my guest but uh then come out right a lot of stuff i have gotten here that needs to be changed like this could be a bar of soap i didn't need to saw these things here uh go -Tex, i i don't have to bring it i just use a raincoat which is right here and a lot of food which i brought which i do not need could have been just enough food for myself for three days and that's about it my jacket didn't need it it did get cold a few days uh one night or two and that's about it all right i'm the ranger don't forget to like share and comment they do help see you next video